Phoenix. How's everyone doing today? So, still got some more Cosmic Legions to work my way through. And, uh, yeah, as you know, like I always say, life's busy. You gotta get out, you gotta enjoy other life. It's not all about action figures and stuff like that. Uh, as much as we might like it to be sometimes. I mean, honestly, there are days I just, I just wanna, I just wanna go home and play with my action figures. I know. Grown man probably shouldn't say that, but it's the truth. It's the truth. And I forgot I was looking for these guys. They're back on my shelf. The other reason I haven't opened anything lately, uh, I gotta clean my shelf off. I've only got so much, I, I've said it before, I've only got so much shelf space, so I you know, rotate through, as I assume a lot of us do, because uh, nobody has infinite space. Uh, so I gotta, I gotta rotate through and I gotta clean off the shelf. Otherwise these, I mean, they start cluttering up the space, so to speak. And, oh, this thing fell off. Still one of my favorites, surprisingly, is this guy. Uh, the Sentry. If you haven't seen my review of him, go back and check. I'm gonna knock these blocks out of the way. Those blocks go to... Uh, some Star Wars terrain that I'm putting together. I'm making progress on it. I kind of want to put together like a quick little video. I'm no painter, as I've said a hundred times, but I'm going to put together a quick video on that and I'll leave that cap off to the side. So for today, uh, we have got this dude right here. I figured that I like that sentry so much. I want to open this one. I don't think I'm going to like this one as much. Just right off the bat. I'm going to say that. Now, maybe I shouldn't say that, but I don't think I am. Uh, but this is science officer i think we're gonna like some of the accessories though but we're gonna dive into that uh as always ways to support the channel like share subscribe if you have a couple extra bucks you'd like to donate uh cash off tag will be in here somewhere and as always there's my ebay which i haven't done a lot with lately again busy it's summer gotta get out and enjoy it uh but plan to get some stuff posted up there soon and so recently unboxed uh, a couple other items, but uh, you may have seen that. But for today, I really want to open this one up. And actually, the more I'm looking at it, the more I'm liking it. That, that always happens. The more I look at them, there's some right out of the box. Love it. Others, the more I look at it, the more I like it. But let's, let's take a look. I love the display on this. Again, I can already see. I'm going to like that. Why is there an image of a skull in there? We don't know the story. Uh, this is his head, which is definitely different than that one. So that's that's pretty cool. But let's read his bio again. We always like to read the bio. Now, first off, I'm going to say the one thing I don't like about this packaging. Okay, I like it is resealable, technically, right? But the thing I like better about the Mythic Legions packaging is their bio. On those, you get the paper bio. You can take it out. Uh, I take it out. I. I put it in such a way that it doesn't get ruined and I put it in the plastic storage bag with the container when it's time for them to go into their uh into storage these guys I, I'm not cutting the boxes up so I end up throwing the boxes away and losing their bio which I guess I could go online print out a bio but that's extra work so while this packaging is gorgeous that is my one complaint about this packaging versus mythic packaging okay uh for folks like me that want to retain their bio, I can't really uh, without cutting it out. Uh, it just looks like garbage, honestly. I like those simple paper bios. I just fold it. I put it in the plastic bag. As you've seen, if you haven't seen it, go back and watch my How to Store Your Action Figures videos. It's the most watched video I've got on here. I think it's got about 10,000 views. Uh, so yeah, go back and watch that one. You'll see what I'm talking about. I probably ought to update it because it's been a couple of years. But without further ado, let's read his bio. So, security officer. The labs hidden deep within the walls of Balkatar are home to a number of intriguing yet often nefarious projects. Although many successful experiments have been born among these sterilized chambers, the most profitable and prolific is the development and manufacturing of thyroxium. Sounds like probably a CIA field of CIA office or something, I don't know. Uh, tasked with guarding the elusive scientists, doctors, and lab technicians are the TU5CC science officers. Possessing a fundamental knowledge of science and medicine not only prepares these officers to defend the labs and their inhabitants, but also allows them to assist in the day-to-day -day work of maintaining the labs and assisting on projects when deemed necessary. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's take a look. 
So I came prepared this time, actually brought a knife, brought some scissors. I'm usually, for some reason, I do this all the time, but for some reason I always forget them. A little slow, apparently. But yeah, I got a few more of these guys we need to open. So let's get them open. And again, I love the packaging. Okay, so we got a few more items in here. We've got the, uh, got some accessories. As you know, we always kind of go through the accessories first. Oh, he has. That's right. He's got the, uh, he does have the assault rifle and the double guns. Okay. And not 50 million hands, which, as you've heard me say before, I like a couple extra hands, but I don't need all those extra hands. Which, uh, they made hand packs for these guys. So you can get them. Now, this is, out of the packaging, very glossy white. Very cool. Uh, something I've been doing recently is taking a black light to all the action figures. And you get some kind of cool highlights with these guys. The eyes, that orange. Very, very cool. I, I, make, I recommend it. So let's, uh, let's see here. Let's break out the scissors. And we'll go. I'll try not to talk during this part because it always gets interrupted with the wrong thing. Maybe I'll even fast forward this part a little bit. Yeah, well packaged. Almost all too well packaged. So, before we take him out of this plastic prison, let's look at the accessories. First of all, look at his head. That's pretty cool. You know, the color it does, it does pop a bit. Again, that. You get some good contrast going on here. I think I'm going to like this head better than I'm going to like that head. Uh, I think. I think overall I'm, I'm going to go for the collared look. I don't know yet, but that's just my assumption just from looking at the uh, security officer. I like that look. Now, here's the thing. Why, why does a scientist... And now, I never get into why does anybody need a firearm because it's not about need, right? Uh... But, that being said, why does the science officer need, <laughs> need a laser rifle? Again, the term assault rifle is a, a misnomer, but we're not going to get into that. Uh, you know, screw it. I don't plan on keeping the plastic, so I don't really care if this gets burned. Uh, maybe I can get this out of here. Oh my gosh, it's in here. Again, a little too well. It is shiny. Now, I guess space lasers should be shiny. I personally don't like my firearms shiny. Again, another whole conversation there. Screw it. Ooh, don't cut the gun. There we go, you frackin' frack. One. <laughs> Accessory. Yeah, we like to look at all the accessories. Let's get them all popped out. And we'll look at them all. Extra hands. I don't usually pop out the hands, but the way these guys are, I'm gonna have to. And then this little accessory. Okay, boom, done. So let's look at them all individually. Same rifle we saw with the other guys. I'd like to see a little. I'd like to see a little variation with these rifles. Think, you know, there's a lot of variations with rifles just in uh, the world, even just the U.S. Right? Uh, or if you think U.S. Western and Com Bloc nations, Com Bloc, you know, your former communist bloc nations like uh, Russia and China. Well, China still is, but that's again another whole conversation uh, between weapon design. So I'd like to see some of that as well. And I, I imagine we probably will going forward. Uh, but the fact that everybody has necessarily this style, yeah, maybe we should get some variation in there. I mean, I know we've got this style, which, as I, I learned something, this little piece pops off so you can change out attachments. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we got that. we got the two pistols. Again, I get these are filler figures, but I want to see some variations in the pistols going forward. Uh, as was asked earlier, someone had asked, 
What are these silly, what are these silly things for? These silly things. So when I last it, pop into here. So you can put them on their belt or their hand. Their arm, something like that. Same handgun. Well, I shouldn't say they're the same handgun. They do make a left and a right. Right? So you can have one mounted on his right, one mounted on his on his left. So you could be a dual pistol wielding scientist in case his science experiment gets out of hand. So what's the deal? Stop doing that. So what is the deal with this skull? Okay. This is what I want to know. This is the story I want to know. What is the deal with this skull? It's... Is it him? Is it the same as him? Do they have some sort of special trait? Because we've seen that skull pop up a few times now. Uh, what's the deal with it? Gotta know. Now we got extra hands. It's more like trigger finger hands. So this, yeah, I kind of like that. Kind of liking that trigger finger hand. These might get swapped out. And I like the fact that these are three-fingered. Those are five-fingered. Dude's five-fingered, so that's, that's cool. You got five-finger death punch over there, and then three-finger scientist, dude. But yeah. Okay, so those are different hands. And last but not least, this. And again, look at the detail you have here. You get a lot of attention to detail, even on the inside. I get it's just, you know, it's molded plastic, but they didn't have to do that. They could just made it smooth. They could have gone with something plain Jane, vanilla, so to speak, but they didn't. And that shows attention to detail, and that's cool. And that's why we keep buying their stuff. And Cosmic caught me by surprise. Uh, how much I like it. I always, always like sci-fi. I always like that sort of thing. I'm a you know, huge sci-fi fan. Uh, huge um, high fantasy type fan. I, maybe I shouldn't say huge because I know they're bigger fans than I am. But always like that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, this one caught me by surprise just how much I like this set. Honestly, is it book two or the next set? Didn't nothing really grabbed me. The more I go back and look at it now, though, the more it's grabbing me. I kind of wish I'd uh, gotten in there. Uh, speaking of new sets. What is it, what's it, I forget what, what the new set's even called. But what do you think? Have you seen it? Okay, the one thing I do like about this packaging, it just drops out. It just drops out. Super easy. It's not in there like the guns. <laughs> I guess the guns should be hard to get. No, they shouldn't. But that's another, again, conversation. All right, let's pull this down a little bit. Let's so look at this guy. So, I think this might pop off. Oh, it does. That's kind of cool. That pops off. So was that like a like a single camera there? Kind of neat. I would totally keep that on there. You've got all your standard articulation, right? Head articulates. He spins around. He's possessed. Um, you've got that. You got that. You got the shoulders. It's very. It's a, it's more of a glossy white. I have to say. Which again, not bad. And I think these, yes, they do. These pop out. That's, I mean, from a design standpoint, from the Four Horsemen, I mean, that makes sense. Because look, it's the same body, but they can achieve different looks by making this replaceable. I don't know what they're doing out there right now. I don't know if you can hear that. They're out there making giant vats of popcorn, getting ready for hunting season so crazy now oh okay so this all right so this doesn't go on top of, all right let's, let's look at the articulation yeah we got the art standard articulation we got the belt this is where these come in that's where these come in these will pop on the side and i'll show you that in a minute but I think you get where I'm going with that. Uh, got a little bit of a blemish here. Looks like some silver ribbed off somehow. Uh, standard, standard, right? Yeah, they don't do like, uh, you know, their hip rotations all up here. They don't have the split like a lot of the Marvel Legends or even the new Masters of the Universe stuff. Uh, so you get all your standard articulation. Again, I think it, 
pretty much exactly the same as this guy. All right, the belt is slightly different, okay. So he's got a slightly different belt. He's got some slightly different accessories. But overall, same body, which we expect. We expect that. Now everything can be uh, completely custom. Let's pop this head off. I want to get an idea of how this works. If I pop this on top of that. No. Oh, that's not what I want. I don't want to pop that whole thing off. If I pop that whole thing off, the whole back comes off, and that just looks silly. Okay, so we leave that on. Got it. This thing goes on top of that, I guess. Oh, we're going to backwards. Yeah, I had it backwards. So this thing goes on top of that to give you the really high neckline. I mean, honestly, this is what they should have used for Hordak. Am I wrong? Am I completely off base on this? No. I'm not. I'm just doing it wrong. My execution just stinks. Okay. Maybe because it's been sitting in the box separate. Maybe this chest piece is getting a little in the way. But yeah, hmm. Will I keep that on there or not? I don't know until I put a head on. What the heck was that? So yeah, somebody's already making pieces. If you if you follow the Mythic or Cosmic Legions Cabal on Facebook, the premier Facebook pages for Cosmic and Mythic Legions, then uh, somebody has come up with the symbol chest piece. Very cool. So this gives you an option to switch, switch that out. Again, I really want one of these painted up to look like Gordon Freeman's HEV suit. And you can put the symbol right in there too. Yeah, I think, I don't know. But this gives us, I didn't even realize this was necessarily so easy to take off. This gives you some customizability. Not sure how I feel about that head. Not sure at all. I like that one. I like this one. Six eyes. Seems kind of cool. This guy looks like something I've seen somewhere. Star Wars, maybe? Like the fish guys? I don't know. Anyways, this you can take these. I'm gonna do this on camera. Get out of my way. Take these, put them here, put it here again, a little off the belt, which is cool that they thought of that. So you know you get a little bit of a, a better draw stroke there, so that's good to have. Do these go in different lengths? They do. Oh. Okay, attention everybody. These clear plastic things come in different lengths for attest attaching different weapons to different areas. Because I was going to say, that looked really weird sticking out that much. That is better. Okay. Got a secondary. What would you call this? Tertiary? Is he left-hand dominant? Is he right-hand dominant? Oh, I just triangle to death on that. You're going to lose that for right now. Gonna do that again. This is a pretty well armed scientist, he's almost better armed than the security <laughs> officer, um, which is entertaining. And then, of course, he's got this plays phase plasma rifle in the 40 megawatt range. Mm. This guy's growing on me, I have to say. Overall, and then we've got this this hologram here. Snug fit. And you want to be careful. You don't want to push down on this because you know what's going to happen. You're just going to one direction and bend it and break it. 
I know that's going to happen. So you can be here. Is he talking to him? Is it something he's looking at? Are you experimenting with? I don't know. Oh, I forgot to bring my turntable out, so I can't throw him on there. Just let him turn around for you. Actually, I still can. Watch this. The power of magical editing. And boom, like magic. We back and we have full movement. And this is cool because I can point things out as we're looking, right? So uh, this guy growing on me. I like him a little better out of the package. I don't like him as much as this guy. I don't. I, I, why? I don't know. <laughs> I just don't. Uh, I like his head better. I like um, his coloring better. That gray, that flat gray just kind of talks to me. Uh, I don't really care about the dome because the thing always falls, pops off. Uh, again, I don't hate this guy. I like him. But he looks like a newly painted apartment. You know, you know, go into one of those cheap rental apartments where they just come in and those eggshell paint the whole thing. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's the silver. I don't know. Again, is he cool? Yes, he's cool. I still like this guy better. I don't know why. Uh, but again, none... No Mythic Legions or Cosmic Le Legions have I ever opened the box. Oh, I absolutely hate this. I have some that I absolutely love. And the ones that I don't love, eh, they usually find their way onto eBay or Traded or something like that. Um, but I'll keep him because I only have one. Would I buy more of him? No. No, if I was going to buy more of something, it would be that guy. It would be that guy over there. Uh, I, wouldn't, I, I wouldn't Legion build this guy. I'd Legion build that guy. Now, that's me. That's me. You guys can do what you want. Uh, what do you think? If you were going to Legion build one or the other, which would it be and why? Which do you prefer and why? Tell me. Leave a comment down below. Again, as always, I'm glad you stopped by. I really appreciate it. Uh, you know, just walking on this, this little collecting journey that we go on. And great to have you all here. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, hope to have a couple more of these up in the next few days. We'll see what life throws at us. As always, great to see you. See ya.